<laughs> well, guys, welcome to the Rich Redneck series, where we just do unpractical stuff and have an unpractical amount of money and buy stupid stuff. But today, today's actually going to be a practical day because we need a lawnmower, so there's no crazy lawnmower I can buy, so I'm just going to go out and buy a normal zero-turn lawnmower. But anyways, we gotta eat breakfast, and then we should be ready to roll. Ride or die. Ooh, Wheaties. Coffee? I gotta make a decision of which car to take for the day. The Ford GT, or the first gen Comets? And this is what I was going after. The 250 Kin Ranch, because it's got a hitch, actually. The only issue is, is I don't have a skid steer. And I can't unload this cooler's light myself. And so I need to buy a skid steer probably. So we'll buy a skid steer, a mower today, a weed eater. Yeah, I think that should be good. But somehow I got to unload this thing. Oh, I saw something Mark Freeman, easy quad unload. I wonder if that'll work on cooler's light. Here we go. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to keep the cooler's light in there for now. But anyways, we need a lot more on skits here. Probably my only issue is we don't have a trailer. I gotta buy like a, a bumper pull trailer for the mowers. Well, I guess not for the skid steer, but we'll figure that out. There she is. Ooh, doggy. Okay. My gosh. Maybe we need a case magnum. Okay, so I'm here for a mower and then maybe a skid steer. They got Kubota down here. Okay, let's start with skid. Uh, Kubota 95-2. I know a guy who owns one of these. He likes them. Looks like it's got high flow. Doesn't have any suspension. It's got def. Huh. But they don't have... See, Kubota came out with a 97, I think, dash 2, which is the newer model. But these guys don't have it in stock yet think I gotta check with the salesman here but I think these things go for like 70 grand which who cares then we got a Toro commercial 72 inch deck I think what I'm gonna do is get the biggest zero turn possible because I enjoy mowing but we got a skag see I've always really liked skag it seems like a lot of commercial guys always run skag I guess we're residential doesn't matter too much we're not gonna be putting too many hours on it okay and then we got deer a Z994R and I think Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this has like the 32 horsepower diesel engine. I gotta check with the guy. We could go a diesel zero turn. Maybe it'll last longer, I don't know. This one has the airless tires. Be interesting. Same exact model right here, besides it doesn't have the airless tires. 72 inch deck, seven iron deck, looks perfect. Same thing, uh, there's an airless one in the back there. Okay, and then, hey, we you know what we could do for the wife? Or maybe the wife does a sitter, I do the stander, I don't know. But uh, could get a 648R, 48-inch deck, stand on mower, why not, you know? Oh, they have a gator, a diesel gator. I kind of want like a player's ranger, but hey, this is great for utility work. My gosh, they have everything back here. We don't need a disc, but darn it, it'd be cool to have one. Okay, let's jump on the Toro, fire her up. Not bad. I don't want a runner just because I don't know if they're gonna let me. They left the keys in them though. Skag 72 inch. Jump on her. I wanna drive the airless one, the airless deer, so the 994 with a 32 horsepower diesel engine. So we got the two demos, but then I was talking to the dealership guy in here and he has this a John Deere X748. Garden tractor. It has weights, has a loader on it, even has a little disc on the back. It has a couple more attachments that we could definitely get. They just don't have them in stock right now. It has an aerator on the back. This thing has everything. I've got two zero turn tractors and a garden tractor that I gotta decide between. As a little side note, this came from JA Modding, and they are super close to releasing this. If not, they've already released it. I don't know. By the time this is posted, I have no idea. So I'll link the Facebook page over there. It'll be public to everybody once they release it. And uh, I think they're super, super close. So I think what we're going to do is buy the garden tractor because we need that. We need a little disc, aerator. We could use it for everything. And then we'll also demo these two zero turns and we'll eventually purchase one. 
Oh, and we need a weed eater. Check this bad boy out. She's a steal of a deal. Get it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get the steel. I'm going to toss it in the back of the truck. The steel weed eater. And uh, we should be good to go. I need a trailer, though. I do kind of want to get like a skid loader, too. What the heck? That looks like that's perfect for the garden tractor. Hey, James. Can you guys toss in the cart, too, with the deal? Okay. Thanks, man. Okay, we're buying the cart, too. I could get a Cat 289D skid loader. These things are sweet. They have awesome suspension on them. Man, they're expensive though. This would be nice. They have a Cat 289D. I could get a new hole in track skid loader. You guys ask, what are you gonna use a skid loader for? I have no idea. We'll find stuff to use a skid loader for. These are just more to look at in the shop. A C232. Or, like I said, we could go a Kubota 95 2. Classic, classic Kubota. Okay, so I'm hoping we can use this trailer. They just had one sent back that they're gonna allow me to use. I haven't bought this trailer. But I wish I would have got rid of this beer in the back because then I could fit some of the stuff in here. We'll throw the weed eater in here. Load up the, we'll load up the weed eater. I got to drive it up there. I literally have to drive myself and the weed eater up in the trailer. Okay, yeah, we'll do that later. We'll get the skag up here. I'm really liking this skag. We'll see how it cuts though. That's the thing I haven't tested. There we go. Keep going. I don't know if you guys saw this, but I saw a trailer and the, it was mowing simulator is the game which is kind of cool it's looking to be released pretty soon here i think okay i was hoping we could fit the garden tractor but looks like we're gonna have to come back and pick up the garden tractor yeah well let's go run these okay we got the skag and the deer unloaded okay we got to get mowing with these i gotta go pick up that garden tractor ah let's 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 do a little mowing first Okay, we're going to test out the skag first. We'll mow this backyard area. I have no idea exactly what we're doing with the backyard yet. We'll figure that out later. So drop down the deck. Start her up. What the heck is wrong with this model? It's like the blight. It's a deck height. I know it's like, what the heck? Okay, a no for the cheetah. Nothing wrong with skag. Just a little issues with the game. Let's try the deer. I have a feeling the deer is going to be the exact same way. What the heck? This could be... Oh my gosh, we're flipping over. This could be potentially because I edited... <laughs> Jeez, we haven't even bought it yet, man. But this could be potentially because I raised the terrain? I don't know. I just want to mow my lawn. Nope. She wants to flip over. Okay, we're going to go pick up that garden tractor. Test that garden tractor out because she must be... She might be the reliable one, because we gotta cut some grass. Okay, we're back for the real mower, the garden tractor. It would be kind of cool to do some type of mowing uh, business video, like a true good role play one. It'd be kind of cool, actually for a role play like video, to do a role play series where everybody owns a mowing company. And everybody lives in a house, so like a homeowner slash mowing company world where everybody owns a mowing company and it gets kind of competitive between like Stevio, me, Jake, and Buck about whose lawn, who bidded this lawn, and who got that lawn, who got the old lady's lawn down the street, and we're all bidding and mowing around and stuff. That'd be cool. Okay, here we go. The blades, the disc may scratch on the ground a bit. Oh, go. We should be good. Come on. <laughs> I love his foot action. Or I guess my, this dude's foot action. We're scraping. We need to somehow get this deck up. I knew this was going to be an issue. Here we go. Come on. Scraping the new tractor. There we go. Okay. We should be good right there. I just got to get a couple more attachments. They'll probably use a skid loader to get those in there for me. Okay. We're good to go. We're good to go. Ready to rock and roll. I'm curious to see, does this mower have issues again too? Because our other zero turns were jumping up and down. I think this one should work. I think we'll be cool. We got the cart, the disc, and the aerator. Be cool if it had a little backhoe. That'd be sweet. Okay, we got the other attachments off. I just need to get the garden tractor, lift her up, come on back. Oh gosh, we gotta straighten this up a bit. I wanna actually use this disc for a food plot. That'd be pretty cool. Or a garden. There we go. We're good to go. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. Does she mow? I could take off the front weights too. 
Yeah, this should be fine. Oh, there we go. She's cutting good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Cutting some tall grass here. We'll lift her up. Oh, yeah. Let's do a moan business with this baby. There we go. Drop her down. Now, this is an early model, so it's not uh, it's not final version. That's not bad. It does get caught up in some parts of my lawn. I don't think it's lawnmower. I think it's probably an issue with me and something I'm doing. But man, it's beautiful. My other two mowers, I can't get to work. The X748, the Skag, and the Deer. Put your comments down below for if we keep the Skag or if we keep the Deer, if I can get them working, first of all. Okay, we need to go buy a skid loader. It's time. I'm down to Cat or Kubota. Kubota 95-2. We do use a Kubota a lot. Kubota's an awesome machine, but I think we're going to try the Cat. 289. It's got suspension and it is a luxury of the luxury of skid loaders, man. These things are expensive. We need a gator too. I forgot the gator I was gonna buy. We need a gator, that's for sure. Okay, so they said they said to just use their trailer. And I was like, are you sure that trailer's made for that heavy a skid loader? And they're like, yep. And then we also got the gator in the back. She's squatting the Ford a bit here. <laughs> but we got her loaded up, we got her paid for. And then we need to get the skid loader loaded up. I need a bucket or something on that thing. Oh, that gator. That's awesome. It just barely fits. Okay, we're going to try and back this thing up. This thing was close to $100,000 brand new. It is insane. I guess we can afford it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Here we go. But wait, there's more. The dealership was like, hey, if you want to demo two and test two against each other you can have two to demo one of them you're gonna have to bring back and one of them you're gonna have to buy and so we got the Kubota also so we're gonna put it head to head and just test her and they said hey throw it on the trailer it'll handle it so here we go nothing like a Kubota cat and deer I like it the cat's just giving the Kubota like a little little tap on the head okay we should be good to go so fun when you can just spend stupid amounts of money in farm sim but like I said guys be careful with what you buy don't spend your money on stupid stuff like boats and all that and crazy cars and stuff cuz uh, that stuff depreciates pretty quick this is just for fun this is video just for fun slow her down hit the brakes if we can make it oh. okay we made it <laughs> I love it. I love it. I gotta organize all this stuff now. Let's, uh, we'll pop the door, organize my mowing set. Oh, we got the boat and stuff in here. Shoot. Gotta move the boat out of the way. I think I'll put the mowers, I'll line the mowers up, all right here. That'll be perfect. Perfect. It's what I call a rich redneck garage. It's beautiful. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed another video on the rich redneck series. Uh, this is just kind of for fun, entertainment and stuff. I know we're spending crazy money and it seems all stupid and stuff, but hey, it's fun. So, anyways guys, seriously, thanks for watching, and hey, I'll see you guys on the next one.